Ever had a problem and you're trying to think, well, can 3D printing fix it? Yeah, it can actually. Because I ran into a problem too. Let's start talking about this in a few seconds. Let's think in for a little bit. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. What am I holding in my hand? Well, I'm holding my Baofeng, which is a two meter radio for amateur radio. And the Abri style antenna. This is called a tactical antenna. The idea of it is it's supposed to be, it can be used as a weapon. Well, it, it would hurt as a weapon. Let's just put it that way if you hit me the right way. This antenna is considered a collapsible antenna. And so it's easy to compact, easy to use. When you need it, it's sturdy. The sides here are very strong. You can't, you can't bend it that way at all. And trust me, if you hit someone over the head with this, this way, it will hurt. I know, I've already experienced it. But this antenna is considered a high gainer. This antenna allows me to gain more length than normal. So on a usual antenna like this, which is the regular Baofeng, just to give you guys an idea how short that is compared to my antenna. This antenna will get me okay. It'll get me the Cambridge area only. I can't get outside of Cambridge and Kitchener where this antenna, I can hit almost everything I want to hit except for anything that's out of um, any range of this type of radio. Like this is only five watts. So I would not be able to hit Toronto's repeaters or Mississauga repeaters or I can hit Hamilton repeaters, which is kind of interesting with this antenna. So that's kind of nice. The problem with this is that I don't have the strap anymore that holds this in tight so it stays with a nice curve and keeps the antenna, you know, in posture. So it's always up like this. I could tie it down with a strap, but it just looks not right. And honestly, I didn't like the strap that came with this to begin with. So I went, hmm, what other options do I have available? Well, I went into Tinkercad. And because I do a Wednesday show live... I came up with a design like this. So that is the clip I designed. It's small. Took me a few minutes to print. But the idea was I wanted something that could easily clip. I have an opening here so I can actually hook the antenna in in case I can't slide it through. And that was one of the things I kind of designed it on. This is just like a prototype or anything. But when it came down to printing it, I went, you know what? This might be strong enough. So let me show it to you in the actual print now. There's the actual print. Thin walls. Yeah, I know. That's why I use PLA Plus uh, from eSun. Uh, black PLA. Did it at 215 with a 60 bed. And this thing came out nice and strong. Uh, not strong this way because of the opening on the bottom there. And the top is a little bit weak. But not weak, that it's going to hurt hurt what I needed it for. And it's only 5 millimeters tall. So it's like, well, let's give this a shot. So I printed it out. It took me about 18 minutes to get printed. And as you see, goes on the antenna with no problem. And then I just hook the antenna like this. And I can slide it in there. Or I can do this which is just sliding it under the clip, pushing it back, and letting it sit in there. I'm done. This took me only 18 minutes to print out, which is not bad. Now, yeah, I could thicken it up a little bit more and do a little bit more work with it, which I might. I might actually make it a little bit bigger. But for what it's done for, it works perfectly well. So... Was I able to find something like this on Thingiverse or anything like that? No. I could not find a clip meant for this antenna. So sometimes, you know, designing stuff is fairly simple. If you want to see the full design, like I said, that we did that on this live show and a card will show up on the screen. Also, if you like to know what's going on with my life as the ham radio goes, I have a whole channel dedicated to that. I will put a link up there covering the video so you can watch the video list. And I will put a subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my other channel, which is just me rambling.
about stuff, which is going to be called All Ham and Radio once I get my license, which is in uh, the recording of this video, which in two weeks I write. So hopefully we can do that. And I want to thank you all once again. We hit 300 subscribers. Finally, we got over that, that hump. So if you are subscribed already, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new to the channel and you or you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. Join us on Wednesday mornings if you're free. We have a lot of fun just sitting there chatting and just, you know, come out with stuff. And talking about 3D printing, too. You know, sometimes we don't talk about 3D printing, like uh, this Wednesday we were chatting about 3D design, which is whatever I designed that part. But also we started talking about Disney Plus and other stuff. So it's just a hodgepodge of everything. Just, you know, have that Wednesday just to sit down and just go, yeah, we're going to try to focus on 3D printing, but we go everywhere. So, and we have fun. And everyone's invited to come on. I bring people on the stream. So, like I said, links down below if you want to help us out. Join us. Talk with us. We have a Discord channel now. We have everything almost, I think. Uh, I don't think we have that, though. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do that one. But, anyways, want to thank you all so much for still being there. And to all our new subscribers, thank you for si for joining us. Hopefully you like the content I'm producing. I'm trying to produce it in such a way that it's gauged at all audience members. But we do want to keep it. I want to keep it fun. I want to keep it fresh. But I don't want it to become like every other 3D printing channel where they focus on, the, on it. I want to be open and say, you know simple tricks and tips and that type of stuff and just keep it lighthearted. But at the same time, you know, this is the show I work on the most. But anyways, guys, still, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comments. You know, like, subscribe, do all those great things. Anyways, everybody, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content, you know, I'm glad I could bring it out for you. Anyways, thanks, everybody. And like always, I'll see you in a couple weeks once I write that test. <clears throat> and um, hopefully I'll have my license and I'll let you guys know. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Bye now.